Hello, I'm Abigail. My name is Victoria. My name is Marley. Annabelle, and I'm in seventh grade. I'm 13, and I go to Jetson Middle School, and I'm in JSTEM. JSTEM Academy, the school model is a school within a school. So we have a school downstairs, and we have our school. So these specific students um, had an interesting journey when they were coming to their PBL, which is project-based learning. Our school does a whole shutdown for an entire week, and they do nothing but work on the projects. We as the teachers, as the team, we always come up with the idea and then we present it with the kids and they choose how they want to solve that problem. With the seventh graders, we try to pick a project to suit their interest, but not only that, but to help the community. I was like nervous about the project, but I knew we could do it. Uh, we had really good ideas. Most of the projects were using like ideas like some of the teachers gave. We wanted to do something different that set ours apart. It never ceases to amaze me. I mean, these kids are 12, 13 years old of what they can do when you put a challenge like this in front of them. We kind of just say, here's the problem, go solve it. Our project is a fidget widget. We were tasked to create a board for patients with TBI or a vest for patients with dementia. TBI affects both mental and physical states. When routinely making coffee in the morning, one does not think of the day where they cannot grip tight enough on the mug or their hands will not stop shaking enough to pour. Recovery means the acceptance and processing of help. My team and I's goal is to aid this recovery through our occupational therapy board and the exercise of fine motor skills. On their actual fidget widget, I could envision an adult using the board 100%. They made it personal. They, they added beautiful artwork um, on there so it wasn't just like something painted. Um, they made it to a daily task for an adult, which is one of their constraints, and their research was spot on. I have seen firsthand how PLTW has impacted the students. It is an amazing program and the engineering design process is what sets our students apart from any of the other schools. What inspired me is the neuroscience behind it, the thought of the complexities of the brain after trauma impacts it and how physical things that while you can't see the change it does, it does make a neuroscientific change. When they first introduced the whole project, they said that it was gonna go to like a place for it to help. And I thought that that was like really cool. I wanted to work hard because I wanted, I wanted to help someone. A year ago, we decided that we should establish our first ever community impact awards. And the goal for these awards is to highlight teams of students from schools like yours who are doing a really important job of addressing a problem in the community. And so I'm excited this year to recognize that middle school and excited to share that this year's winner of our first ever Community Impact Award is Fidget Widget, as designed and developed by Marley, Abigail, Victoria, and Annabelle. So congratulations. He was like, so the winners, and I was like, oh my God, we won. Like he said, okay, come up guys, stand up. I was like, Wait, we won? I was really shocked and happy. I remember when I first said it, I like, I felt a little emotional. I knew our worth and I knew we had something special, but to see that others recognize it too was great. I hope that these kids can realize that they have more impact on their community than they think they do. I think a lot of time they think, oh, you know, I'm 12 or 13 years old, nothing's gonna happen. But with the way that they can think, different than I think other adults, whether it's one person, whether it's the school, whether it's, you know, at a larger scale than that, that they have the ability to make big change. I've only been here for like 13 years, so being able to help someone in 13 years of living, you know, it's just a, it's a big, it's a big thing for me. I do not know whoever it's helping, but I do know that something I helped create is helping them and it's a connection that not much else can replicate. It feels like so warm. It feels good to know that I was able to help someone and that someone can be doing better because of what I did. I feel like it'd be really helpful to make more and send it off to more people so they could become better too. To see 13, 14 year old students who are taking on problems in their community and solving them like a team of adults would potentially. So um, to me, the message to all young people is it's never too early and you are never too young to take on real problems in your community. You can, you can change your community, you can change the world.